It's Juan for Pedals and Effects here with Nick Reinhardt. We got Ben from Dwarfcraft. They're going to discuss the Reinhardt pedal. Go. Well, your original idea was a Hax and the Great Destroyer. You yeah. mentioned that at first. Yeah, that's something that I had, like, since I made those two pedals, I had always wanted to try putting them in one box. But I didn't have occasion to do that. And, um... Well, your, your original email may have even said, like, I don't know if you're into, like, the weird, glitchy thing. Well, that may be too over the top for you. <laughs> That's cool. well, what I, what my concern was, was, like, these are really sloppy circuits. Sure. They make extra sound. Like, so my concern was, like, it, it sounds like a cool idea to me. Would that work for you? Sure. And that's always and then, been that case live. It always gets dismantled and, you know, fucked up a million times over than <laughs> it would be on the record, you know? So, but in, in any case, so then we had talked about it, and I went and checked out, you know, those two pedals, and was like, whoa, dude, that would be insane to run those <laughs> into each other in one box. So you've had a few minutes to get to know it. Right. Um, and right off the rip, I can tell I will need uh, a long time to get to know it well. Uh, <laughs> there's just, there's so many, like, subtleties and how it all works, but right up, immediately, it's awesome. I love it. Right off the bat. Great success. Uh, okay, so we'll try the Great Destroyer side first, which is controlled by the top tier. I've never had a puddle where it was, uh, you know, it, the volume affected, I guess, the signal or whatever going into it. I don't even get what that, what's happening in that. <laughs> um, the, the fun explanation for that is basically some of the stuff in there is not intended for audio. Um, so that's really cool. I really like that it's affected. And you were saying, I don't have tone knobs on this, but is that where the tone would affect it as well? Yeah, the tone definitely affects it. And like, if you if you turn the pedal into what uh, we call safe mode, um, Here, where it's let's, more of a... Let's start on safe mode. Okay, is yeah, that where yeah. everything's cranked? Everything all the way up except the volume. I yeah. love that safe mode is everything cranked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. In there, like, it's very, you can hear it sounds kind of glitchy and artificial, like, in a cool way, I think, um, yes. and a little bit honky. Then if you, turn your, if you turn your tone knob down in that, it becomes a much more, I guess, familiar fuzz. Okay. Like, you know, like more of a, a thing you could riff with comfortably in... Sure. Some a rock traditional, roll. A rock roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's safe mode. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so then starting to get, you know, out of the comfort zone of safe zone, what, where do we go? Gain here is, I mean, technically these are both gain stages. Right, okay. But this one is okay. more noticeable as in more and less distortion, and this is more noticeable in, in terms of, of the tone, where you, you pull it back here and it gets a little more trebly, I guess.
capable of some pretty normal stuff, but the, <laughs> no, the knobs are right there, so nobody ever stays there. Sure. And why would you? Cool. Most of us already have a distortion pedal. True. Okay, so that's the great destroyer side. Yes. Okay. And then that's followed up with the hex, which is our ring modulator, made with obsolete telephone parts. Yes. Boom. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Cool. Well, just one. Okay. Thanks. That Reinhardt. That Reinhardt. <laughs>